In this tutorial, I am going to walk you through how to bridge your Zoom broadcast with your Facebook Live so that it's broadcasting in both places simultaneously using a free program called OBS, which stands for Open Broadcasting Source. So it's a little uh, cumbersome. There's lots of steps to this, so you're going to want to be sure to write down all of these steps so that you don't miss a thing. All right, let's get started. All right, the first step is to download the OBS Studio software to your computer. It is free and it works for both a PC and for a Mac. Um, you will need to only be able to do this from a computer. So if you're trying to do this from a mobile device, this process will not work for you. So just go to obsproject.com, download whichever program uh, fits your operating system, and then we'll be ready once we open up the software. Your next step, I'll close this window, is to go into Zoom. Now we're using the free version of Zoom in this demonstration. So with your free version, you will set up a meeting. So I've got a test meeting set up here um, because you are going to actually be running everything through Zoom. So go ahead and have your meeting set up and, uh, and ready and leave that tab up and available. Now, here in our Zoom meeting, for all this to work in OBS, we have to get the meeting going first. So I'm going to go ahead and start the meeting and open my Zoom meetings, say yes, I want it to work with my computer audio. There we go. Right now I've, I've joined my audio connection. I need to make sure my video is working, so I'm going to start video. Well, I can't start the video because I'm doing a recording, but you get the gist of how this works. I'm going to have the video start. And in this case, I'll just do a share screen so you can see. So let me do a share screen and I'll share, uh, I'll share that screen. Okay, so I've got my, my Zoom is actually actively going. Let's jump over to Facebook. When you're in Facebook, whether you're on your business page or in a group and you go to broadcast a live video, again, doing this from a computer, when you go to live, it defaults coming up at least in a group, it defaults to camera. On a business page, I believe it defaults to use stream key. Either way, whichever place you're trying to broadcast to, you want to use the stream key when you're ready to go live. So let me jump back to the beginning of the group so you can see exactly how I got here. So here I am in my group, and when I'm ready to go live, I click those three dots, and there it is, live video and you'll see that screen that I was just showing you. It takes a second to pull up. You see it defaults to use camera. I'm going to select use stream key. Once you've selected use stream key, right here in the bottom right where it says stream key and it has this whole list of information, you're going to copy this because we're going to pull this information into the open broadcasting source software so that this is how it knows where to broadcast everything to. So I'm going to copy this. All right, leave your Facebook open, and then let's pop over to the open broadcast source software that you have downloaded to your computer. I'm going to open this up, and there are just a couple of settings here that we need to make for this to work. Once we have all of this set, um, this is the only time we're going to actually need to use this software during this process. All right, so first you have to set a scene. And to set a scene, uh, I'm gonna select camera. So you, all you do is you click the plus arrow and then you enter in the name of the scene. So I'd already entered in camera. Next, you need to identify the source of where is the uh, information pulling from. And so if I click on my plus, this is typically blank, but if I click on my plus, you might think, oh, well, I'm just going to do video capture, but actually you're needing to do a window capture because what we're going to be capturing is the Zoom window itself. All right, so select window capture and then you'll select OK, sorry. And once you've selected window capture, you'll find the window that you're looking for, which would be your Zoom window since I've already got one. I've I've uh, already have another listed in here, so I'll show you how it looks. But you'll select your Zoom window, and let me go here to Window Capture. So you see I have my Zoom meeting, and then your capture method, you're going to adjust it to your Windows Graphics Capture. 
but you want to look for the one that says Zoom meeting or it has your Zoom meeting ID number. That's the one that you want to capture. Under the capture method, the default comes up as automatic. So you may not see your screen here. And if you don't, then you want to adjust it to Windows Graphics Capture and that should capture your window. That's if you have Windows 10 and up, which I'm sure most of you do. If you're still lugging along uh, without Windows 10, try the, um, the Bit BLT, but a Windows Graphics Capture should do the trick. So once you have these two settings up, then it is now, OBS is now looking at whatever is happening in Zoom, okay? So that's the important thing. Make sure these two things are working. Now, how do we get Zoom over into Facebook? Remember, we copied that Facebook. Remember over here, we copied this stream key. Remember that? So then in the OBS software, right down here where it says settings, click on settings, and then right here where it says stream on the left-hand side, this is where you put in your stream key. So let me back this old one out. There we go. And I'm just going to paste my new stream key in there and I say apply. And then I say, okay. So I've got my new stream key. It's still not streaming to Facebook because I need to say, Hey, now I need you to connect this to Facebook. So I've got my, it's pulling from my camera. It's capturing my window of my zoom. That's already going. I've put it into my settings in the stream key that I got from Facebook. I'm putting that here into the settings and now I'm going to start streaming it. And it says, Hey, where are you going to stream this to? Well, I'm streaming it to Facebook because remember in settings, I said over here, Facebook live, make sure by the way, this service up at the top, make sure it says Facebook live because it defaults to a site called Twitch. So make sure it says Facebook live put in your stream key and then click OK. So and then say start streaming and it's streaming. Now if I go over, let me minimize this. If I go over to Facebook Live, it's still not, you're like, well, where did it go? What's happening here? Well, I have to actually go live here in Facebook. OK, so here in Facebook, so right down here, it shows me this is what's going to be viewed. Once I go live here and I click the go live, then it is all working together. So click go live. I'm just going to say go live. And now it's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking. It takes just a second. And just know that there is a delay. So now I am live and it is showing, you can see down here in the bottom right, this is the screen, my Zoom screen that is um, being broadcast into my group. So if I go over to my Zoom screen, let me adjust my Zoom screen here. Okay, so now you can see I've made some changes here in o uh, OBS, and you can see down here in Facebook what's streaming. So if you need to do a screen share or anything, of course you can do that in um, Zoom. Of course you can also, click on window capture and any window that you have open. So if I had open, say for example, let me open another window and show, um, uh, let's see, um, let's open a website. And if I were trying to show someone uh, how to access something or how to check out, um, if they were shopping, how to check out on the website, so let's just go there and I go into OBS and I do window capture. I can select um, any website or any screen that is up. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. And I could share that. So if I could click this and you'll notice in my Facebook now, it's going to change. So that's how OBS software works. It's whatever you are using um, whatever screens you have open, whatever tabs you have open, you can use OBS software to be the bridge between that tab and Facebook Live just by inserting the stream key. So hopefully that makes some sense. Hopefully it's not too confusing. It is, as you can see, a multi-step process in the setup, but then once you have it going, it's going. And then when you're done, you just end your video live on Facebook and you, um, 
would also want to end it live in OBS. So, so gang, there you go. Hopefully that explains it. I know it's quite a few steps, but again, once you have it set up, it gets to be super easy. Just keep in mind, there is always a little delay between what you're saying and what your audience is seeing when you're going through all these different channels to be able to stream. Um, and again, this not only works with Zoom, this, is a, this was my great example for Zoom going into Facebook Live, but this is an easy way too if you're trying to do any type of screen sharing or demonstrate anything um, on a website using OBS software as the bridge um, from those websites into Facebook Live. So good luck. And oh, before I forget, this also will work if you do YouTube, uh, YouTube Live. If you're trying to stream into YouTube Live, you can have that setting made in your OBS software as well. All right. There you go. If you have any questions, let us know and uh, we'll put up together a little checklist for you that you can print off because um, this, this one does take quite a few steps and that way you have a little something to go by. Good luck!